Disney theme park characters, have there been situations where you had to break character? What was the reason? Consequences? Maybe someone who actually played Tarzan can confirm this for me. Disneyland used to have a Tarzan character, but you don't see him anymore. Since the characters are always expected to pose for photos and selfies, and Tarzan wore nothing but a loincloth, women were constantly grabbing the actor's ass, when they got in close. So, the park just quit that character. On a Disney cruise I met a guy who looked exactly like Peter Pan. When we asked him he said no Peter Pan has brown eyes, or something like that. The next day when we went to get a picture with Peter he got super close and whispered see. Peter has brown eyes. Hands down best Disney employee I've ever met. He was also Pluto. If they can't break character, does Rapunzel get to hit perverts with a frying pan? I hugged the snot out of Stitch a couple of years ago and I'm pretty sure that I heard a squeak. If you're reading this, friend of Stitch, I'm very sorry for hugging you so hard. I auditioned to be a face character in Disneyland and made it to the stage where they run through scenarios of unruly guests, rude comments etc. And you have to respond and come up with responses in character. My dance teacher was a face more than 20 years ago and she had all kinds of stories of people trying to reach up her skirt, she was Pocahontas mainly. In the end I'm glad I didn't make it through. At the time it was like barely above min wage which was like $6.75 slash hour or something like that. In 1996, my mom and dad yelled at some teenager for being inappropriate to Pocahontas when she was leaning over to take pictures with my four-year-old sister. When he left, my mom said I know you can't yell at him but we sure as hell can. Pocahontas just smiled and kept taking pictures with kids but you could tell by the look in her eyes that she was happy about it. Maybe it was your dance teacher. A bit late, but I did the college program at WDW. Never saw a character break when I worked audience control for parades. Definitely saw a few fully costumed characters buke in their heads, and Prince Naveen once got heat exhaustion and managed to leave the parade route fully in character. Once the parade was over, we saw him in the back almost completely passed out. Typically the parade will just speed up to double time if the character actor is in distress. A few days ago, me, my sister and her friend went to the new Galaxy's Edge area. My sister's friend was around 6 apostrophe 1 and had never seen Star Wars. We were walking around and Chewbacca ran up to her, he was around her height, and hugged her. But he put his hand above his head, showing they were both tall. She was super embarrassed and while we were walking away, he did that fist pump thing. Since then we refer to her as Chewbacca's girlfriend. Seriously the cutest thing ever. What if Chewbacca was played by a female and was super excited to see a fellow talk female? Saw a recent video on YouTube of Ray talking to this little girl and her dad had just started filming. Apparently the story the little girl was telling got Ray laughing so hard, she had to turn her face away and eventually got up and ran away because she couldn't stop laughing at whatever the little girl's story was. Super adorable. Worked at the Disney store in late 87 and 88 in Orange County, California. I think, at the time, it was like one of only a handful of stores open. The back of the store had a big screen, where we constantly played some Disney video. Every once in a while, the biggest, muscular, blackest, gayest dude would come in and kindly request we play anything poo related. He'd then proceed to prance around the store, he came in the evenings, towards closing, and sing the Tigger parts of either dialogue or any song. Turns out he was one of the Tiggers at Disneyland. Dude just loved being Tigger. I wish I loved something as much as that guy loves Tigger. I was at Disneyland once and the Sheriff of Nottingham was fake menacing a child. He reached out to touch the kid's balloon and for some reason it bopped. The character actor was clearly stunned. New balloon appeared less than 30 seconds later. I've seen articles that face characters can leave at any time if harassment is bad, using in-character excuses. Costume characters always have an attendant with them to control unruly guests. 
I have a close friend who was Woody for a while at Disneyland. He said that one time the afloat caught on fire during a show and they had to play it off completely in character. They danced around it and had to quickly get it backstage to deal with the problem. He said they played it off well enough that no one seemed to notice slash there wasn't any panic. He said he had never seen an instance of anyone breaking character because everyone was very well trained and there's always at least six or so cameras that can see you at all times. I also one time offered an unopened water bottle to an employee when it was near 100 degrees and he said if anyone at Disney saw that, he would be fired. They can't take anything from guests. He also mentioned the cameras constantly watching both crew and patrons. It, I texted my friend to confirm and he has given me another story to share. One time an acrobat fell off a float face planted into the ground and knocked herself out. They had to surround her in a circle and dance in sync as they dragged her body away. They played it off well and apparently no one noticed. My cousin used to do this when I was a kid. We'd always go try to find her on days we knew she was working. She mostly played Pooh Bear. She would never say out loud hi Nougatuck, but she would get very animated and jump around to give us hugs. Occasionally she'd still say things like I have a rumbly in my tummy. I thought I was the coolest kid cause I knew Pooh Bear. You were correct about that. I wouldn't say break but I was a lifeguard and I had to ban this kid from going down the water slide. Every single time I told him he had to be feet first and every time he said okay. But he kept going head first and it got to the point where the other kids saw him and were copying him. He left and cried to mom and dad and I explained to mom and dad why. They left and cried to my coordinator and my cord came back saying that wasn't very magical. I explained after several times of this kid not listening, other kids were copying him. In any case case I got a stern talk to about being the nice lifeguard who explains why versus the mean lifeguard who just yells orders. Later that day that kid was running across the deck, despite several requests not to, tripped and ate concrete. Man shrugging. Don't hate me because I don't feel bad. I'm a lifeguard as well and if someone told me that I would ask why I'm even there if they don't want me to remove safety issues. Literally 90% of the job is telling little kids not to do shit that could hurt them. My wife and I went to Disney. We were both 30 and it was my first time ever going to a major theme park. My wife wanted to meet the princesses so we stand in line and she goes up to get a picture. The Cinderella asks my wife is that your prince charming? My wife said I was. Cinderella asked how did you meet? My wife paused for a second and said that story is not Disney World appropriate and Cinderella laughed like a real breaking character laugh for just a second and caught herself. If she was drinking coffee it would have been a spit take. Finally she adds oh well I bet it was romantic anyway. It's not a great story but seeing her break character for a genuine laugh is my favorite memory from that trip. And for anyone who wants to know, short version, we met at a party, she was topless on a trampoline. I wasn't a character but worked closely with them, as a photographer. Disney performers are trained to never break character for whatever reason. They have ways of signaling their character attendants that they are in distress, and it's generally up to the character attendant to avoid any weird or uncomfortable situations. As far as weird situations, they do get people that stalk them in the park. Like some people get in those lines multiple times to get a photo with a specific performer. The weird side of Disney fanatics are something else. Yep, I heard of one performer who had to get a restraining order after one of her fans got a full back tattoo of her. The tattoo was not of her in character. I wasn't a character but was a cast member. I was walking from backstage into the park. If you've seen the transitions, they are S-shaped to keep people from peeking in. I was pushing a dolly slash hand cart. Ones we used had two long supports sticking out from the end. As I was going though Winnie the Pooh was walking in from the other side. I hit him slash her square in the leg with it. Hearing Winnie the Pooh say fuck, was a pretty damn funny. Did they at least say it in the Pooh voice? Wow, they don't mess around with their silence wow ha, deleted. I watched Jack Sparrow talking to a kid when the kid started puking everywhere. He said too much of the old apple juice eh? Been there myself. Even ran out once. All the while, the kid is just projectile vomiting everywhere. 
WDW character department at Magic Kingdom many years ago. I can't remember breaking character but I do remember working the restaurant at the Contemporary for dinners, one time we had a Make-A-Wish kid as a guest and they were just the most awesome kid, and it was just heartbreaking to know why they were there. So our lead let us do a group hangout with the kid for something like an hour in costume playing and running around and having fun, you could never play like that in the parks, you'd start a kid riot. No consequences, we just all hoped we made that little kid happy. Bonus fun fact, the goofy costume for the electric light parade was worn by a float driver. Because the driver was seated, no pants with that costume, just the glittery top and head and gloves. A bit late to the thread, wife doesn't have a reddit but she's a Disney princess. She has a lot of passion for her job and has never broken character. Survivable offense. The girls know that their job is coveted so they're on their best behavior. If they break character in a bad way, Disney will quickly replace them with another girl going to the monthly auditions. She loves a good dad joke so one guest made a real clever one while she was meeting his kid and instead of her in character princess laugh, she genuinely laughed. The stories she tells me are insane, hysterical, sad, and heartwarming. If anyone wants to hear more, she's more than happy to share, omitting any details that'll jeopardize her job. Edit for grammar. I couldn't even get the zombies at Halloween Horror Nights to break character. Asked one where the restroom was and he flung his arms in the proper direction and grunted. Pretty hilarious. A few years ago at Halloween Horror Nights I had a brief chat with a chainsaw wielding maniac. He screamed, I screamed, I asked if he was having fun and he said hell yeah I love scaring people and off he went. My neighbor, he died a couple of years ago so I'm safe in telling this, worked at Disney for years. One day he was stocking shelves in a gift shop and came around the corner and nearly ran into none other than Paul and Linda McCartney. Before he could stop himself, he loudly exclaimed, holy shit, it's the McCartneys. He immediately realized how big of a breach of Disney cast member etiquette he had committed and turned 12 shades of red, but before anything bad could happen, Paul and Linda just smiled and laughed and introduced themselves. Apparently they were wonderfully laid back about such things, and quite used to surprised reactions when people recognize them in public. He didn't get into any trouble, his boss saw the whole episode and thought it was hilarious, and I think they both signed a hat or something for him as they were checking out. They do not break character. My best childhood friend is a face character. During the interviews they bring you through a ton of challenging scenarios like kids with lost parents, kids who act mean, etc. If you break character, there are 1000 other people of your exact height and hair color ready to play the character better than you. They even made her do an impression of a Disney character without speaking. She had to be able to just portray the essence of the character and if they couldn't guess who she wrote down her interview was over. They are incredibly serious about staying in character. Anytime something bad enough would happen that they should break character, their handler would just guide them away and handle it themselves. Bonus info, she isn't allowed to tell anyone who she plays, except family and friends, or post anything about work on social media for the entirety of her time at Disney or else she will be fired. I went once and a man was harassing Cinderella so she excused herself to the bathroom and ran to a security guard. Don't all characters have a buddy? Or is that only true for costumed characters? I seem to recall at least one other cast member there to direct folks to the end of the line. A face performer broke character for my husband and I. I won't say which park, but we took a trip to Disney about two months after our infant son died. He was our first. Our entire nursery was Neverland slash Peter Pan themed. We always wanted to take him to Disney, have him meet Peter. Well, he couldn't. I got a memorial tattoo, an exact replica of my son's hospital ink handprint, and we got a picture of Peter Pan with the tattoo. We were alone with him and his handler. I tearfully explained the situation before asking him to pose with my arm. He took lots of photos with my tattoo and us. And afterward he hugged me tight, told me he was proud of me, and God bless us, and he was so so sorry for our loss. It was amazing, emotional, and I'll never forget that Peter Pan was proud of me for finding the strength to keep on living. It honestly meant the world. I'm so glad he broke character. I'll always treasure those photos and that memory. Well, I'm glad Peter did break character then. <laughs>